A lecture series on Nigeria's economic growth and development with emphasis on reforming and repositioning the customs service for the African continental free trade area and other emerging challenges was held on Thursday, November 16, 2023 at the Lecture Theatre of the National Institute of International Affairs, Victoria Island, Lagos. In attendance were the DG of the NIIA, Professor Eho Saosagai, presidential candidate of the SDP in the 2023 election and CEO and founder of Kaftan TV, Prince Adewale Adebayo. The Controller General of Customs, Mr. B. E. Adeni, who was the guest lecturer. Her Royal Highness, Irelo Abiola Dusumu. Renowned Professor of Political Science, Professor Adeleji Nodu. Legendary actor and member of the NIIA, Kanayo O. Kanayo, among many others. The lecture, which started with the Nigerian National Anthem, was moderated by a senior research fellow of the NIIA, Dr. Godwin Ikimi. In his opening remarks, the DG of the NIIA, Professor Osao Sagai, stated that the special occasion is historic, adding that the Institute aims to establish a special connection at the end of the lecture. The NIIA was set up to promote the understanding of international affairs and especially the complexities that make those affairs not easily intelligible to the ordinary people. It is within that complex whole that the linkage that customs has with international affairs would become very obvious by the time you listen to the distinguished lecture. So today we have a nexus that we are establishing and I want to congratulate the Controller General of Customs, Bashir Adewale Adeni, for being the very first Controller General of Customs to mount the pulpit of the NIA today to deliver a distinguished lecture. The DJ also pointed, among other things, that the lecture will become an annual event of the NIIA. Part of our interest is to see how we can strengthen the capacity and foundation of the Nigerian Customs Service to better deliver on its mandate to provide leadership in customs duties. And we want to use the occasion of the African Free Trade Area Agreement to get into this new chapter. How better to do that than to have in the institute the endowment of a Bashir Adewale Adeni Center for International Trade and Investment. So I'm happy to announce to you that beginning today, the NIIA would now have, as part of its repertoire, its intellectual foundations, the Bashir Adeni Center for International Trade and Investment. In her welcome remarks, the chairperson of the occasion, Irelu Abiola Dusumu, read out her thoughts on the theme of the event. She appreciated the NIIA for putting together the very crucial event. The role of custom services cannot be overstated. Today, we delve into the economic dimensions that drive our nation forward. And you know what's been happening in the center. We've never had it so bad. But they are struggling so hard to bring us back to the right path. So, and how the Nigerian Custom Service as a linchpin in this transformation journey should be reflected here today. And we are all very fortunate. We have the CEO of the custom here himself, and we know he's an erudite scholar. And for the NIA to fish him out, he must have a whole lot uh, to give us today. So, uh, Mr. Controller General, we are all waiting with bated breath to hear what you have to say to us. Nigeria is at a crossroad, and we as we navigate uh, economic reforms, particularly with the onset of the African continental free trade area. Special guest of honor, His Excellency Prince Adewale Adebayo expressed delight for being a part of the occasion. 
He stressed the importance of the Nigerian Customs Service, particularly since it's a significant part of the country's history and development. It is very important for us to pay attention and see the, today's event not as an exotic thing or an accident, to be a continuation of a dialogue that we must make. And with regards to our regional interests in ECOWAS, Nigeria, our community levy, is the reason why ECOWAS is still alive today. And I think Nigeria Custom contributes immensely towards that. So I want us to pay attention to the DG and to the Contra General as well when he's making his speech and for us to understand that when we say the government is performing, most of it means that the custom is performing because we are trying to go away from the oil sector now to the non-oil sector. And the Nigeria Custom will determine whether we are a great trading power, whether when ships come to this country, the turnaround time is shorter than it is in Singapore, and all these benchmarks will make us competitive because already we have signed the free trade zone agreement. We cannot run away from it. The only way we can survive it is to be more competitive than our brothers. The citation of the guest lecturer was read afterwards. An elaborate lecture on the theme, Nigeria's economic growth and development as it affects reforming and repositioning the Nigerian customs service for the African continental free trade area and other emerging challenges, was then delivered by the guest lecturer and controller general of customs, Mr. B. A. Adeni MFR. And as we stand at the crossroad of the African continental free trade area, a golden opportunity beckons. It beckons on Nigeria to bolster its foreign exchange earnings, to leverage the delay in the ratification for strategic recalibration. The success of the African continental free trade hinges on the crucial factor of policy alignment, necessitating Nigeria's commitment to crafting policies that synergize with continental objectives. This policy harmony must extend to infrastructure development it must extend to Nigeria Customs Service, balancing its trade facilitation mandate with that of revenue generation. In navigating this balancing act, we must en engage Africans at the heart of our operations. We must foster a collaborative dialogue through transparent communication channels. The crescendo towards economic brilliance requires prioritizing infrastructure development continuous policy adaptation and stakeholder engagement. The lecture was followed by a presentation and conferment of fellowship honors of the Nigerian Institute of International Affairs on the guest lecturer and controller general of customs, Mr. B. E. Adeni, MFR. In her closing remarks, the chairperson of the occasion, Irelia Beladosumu, once again commended the guest lecturer, Mr. B. E. Adeni, MFR, for the well-delivered lecture which, according to her, was highly insightful. The event came to an end with a national anthem. Biscon Communications Global Media Network congratulates the NIIA on the successful hosting of the event.